well, a new week and a new record after no records whatsoever in April. Because obviously the last one, as you can see, of 17 to 88 was a four round plus on the 31st of March. We finally done one. It's just by the one extra, 17.39. So it's one above, but it means that any four future rounds will be guaranteed records. The reason for that is because now up to 116s across the board, with the exception of 14th and final round. And the rule is, when it's a full final round, if the higher number is bigger than the one, so 13 and a one, then it goes with the 116. It's only one, but it all counts. We're now over 320,000 overall in 54 weeks, 270 days. And in terms of compared to 2020, which was from technically the end of April till the end of December, obviously, 169,000. We're now only 20,000 less this year than the seven months we did last year. So, all good. So, it's Monday, and you know what that means. It's recycle time. So, cans and bottles. Actually, I haven't got any bottles this week. The new week of gaming continues from last week with Tell Me Why. We're now going into episode 2 of it. It's because, as many have seen the sport coming back recently, he's made the game and stuff a little bit. So doing something like this means we can spread it out a bit more. It is going to be a bit of a strange week sport because there's no physical until at least Saturday. But we'll come on to that later in the video. So, gaming continues with a game called Dark Grim Miraculous. The reason for this is that anyone who watches regularly or remember back in January we did the 10k achievement challenge, which incidentally is what made the gaming so big this year, is why we've done so much of it. So, oh, control batteries are low, I'll plug down in a minute. Um, so, we're doing another one because in May they released another one. This one's a little bit more difficult because we didn't have as many games stacked ready easy completion wise as we did back in January but I'm sure we'll do it by the end of the month. Well, the beginning of the end of Dark Dream Mariopolis comes as we've just got to stay at peace for surviving somebody from dying. Seems to be an issue with the control at the moment but we're waiting for the last one not to pop. And there we go, True Detective, 100 gamer score, and it pops, nice work, all achievements unlocked in this game, and just to clarify, it is a big hitter of 3000 gamer score, so in the pursuit of the second 10k challenge of the year, 3000 down, 7000 to go. So. With Xtillion games moving over to Windows, we've got another one as part of the 10k challenge. Which, as you can see by the brightness there, sorry. Castle of No Escape 2, we did the first one, obviously. We may have to do this one again in the future to add extras to it, but Castle of No Escape 2, No Escape 2 on Windows. And there we go, that's with most of the Xtillion Windows games, eh, about 10 15 minutes. Because this is the initial thousand, obviously, it may go up to the 3000 at the Xbox One, but. Another thousand in the bank, ticked off. By early November, most non league sides have finished their journey. <laughs> but when Stafford Rangers conceded a late goal, Skelmersdale United became the lowest ranked team to make it into the first round. <laughs> no individual records this week, however, 1700s were quite common. Came close to an absolutely epic milestone of getting oh five seventeens in a week. That has never been done. In fact, I don't even think four. Because the best ever week, we had two there across the five days, and we've had a couple earlier on. But anyway, the main reason for this is that, as you can see at the bottom there, for the first time ever, eight and a half thousand in a week. Which means 136 better off than the best week a few a couple of weeks ago. 200 better off than last week because last week didn't have many long rounds. But yeah, over eight and a half thousand. So the next goal is to obviously, as you can see, we're starting on 117s. There will come a time where there's only so much I can do in the allotted time. But for now, eight and a half thousand in a week is very good. Well, in gaming terms for the week, we are on Habroxia 2. Because obviously the last game, as you'll have seen, we played was 
cast an all scape and that was completed. So Abroxia 2. So we arrived at Barton Stadium, as you can see over there, one win for United. This is six today. 348 overall. 324 for Scam, fourth against Winsford. One win, two losses obviously, and one game losers seek from a few weeks ago when they beat the speed two at home. 111th away trip, could be a 99th overall win. Fifth in the St. Luke's Cup, obviously. <coughs> we missed out on the run corner away. <coughs> Seventh football in 2021, and 17 sport in attendance in 2021 itself. Wins for United, it's going to be United. That's open winner, yeah. You can see it coming here back next week to play in the final. Well, we've done the statistics, but for anyone who is a regular viewer, but remember, 30th November 2019, when this platform, we were the first ever people to use it. Because back then, it didn't have a roof. It's got a roof now, but <laughs> there's a little bit of rain coming to it, but first time we've been on a filming platform since Bootle away in the cup last March. And unlike most things we've coming out of lockdown, we're in a bit of the nerves. Straight up the ladder in. In fact, I've been more confident coming up this today than I was the first time I did. <laughs> yep. Blowing reference to the platform again. So, half time here at Barton Stadium, which is United Nils, Scammy United 1. As it stands, we're not in the final because Sam Batch United are running right against Ron Gordon 3 0 at half time. So, we need a bit of an improved second half. We need to score more, that's guaranteed. Well, a sporting weekend that was already cut short by Wigan playing on Monday night against Leeds. Full time here at Barton Stadium, as you can see, Winsford celebrating. Winsford 3, Scammy United 2. We needed to win by two clear goals to get to the final. We were unfortunate because Sandbach beat Runcorn, so we won't be here next week in the final. That's football done for the foreseeable until pre season takes shape in July. And that's sport, in any sense, done for this week. There's no wig on women, and there's no use anymore, so that's football done. High top of the platform. Not good.